we are given f of x equals x to the power of five x and asked to find f prime of x and f prime of one half using logarithmic differentiation. Let's begin by replacing f of x with y and write the given function as y equals x to the power of five x. Next, we will take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now we can expand the right side of the equation using the power property of logarithms, which is natural log of x to the power of y equals y times natural log x, which means natural log of x to the power of five x is equal to five x times natural log x. This gives us the equation natural log y equals five x times natural log x. So the next step we will differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. And on the left, we have the derivative of natural log y with respect to x. Because we have a function of y here, we need to apply the chain rule, and therefore we'll have an extra factor of dy dx. The derivative of natural log y with respect to x is one divided by y times dy dx. And then on the right, to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the product rule where we have the first function of five x times the derivative of the second function with respect to x and the derivative of natural log x with respect to x is one divided by x. And then we have plus the second function of natural log x times the derivative of the first function and the derivative of five x with respect to x is five. Let's go ahead and simplify. We have one divided by y times dy dx equals on the right for the first product, x divided by x simplifies to one, leaving us with just five times one, which is five, plus five natural log x. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. Notice on the left, y times one divided by y simplifies to one. One times dy dx is dy dx. equals on the right, we have y times the quantity five plus five natural log x. But we want the derivative in terms of just x, not x and y. So now we'll replace y with the original function, which is x to the power of five x. This gives us x to the power of five x times the quantity five plus five natural log x. So this is f prime of x, but let's go ahead and factor out the five from the parentheses and we'll write f prime of x as f prime of x equals five times x to the power of five x times the quantity one plus natural log x. Let's go ahead and record this above and then we'll determine the derivative function value f prime of one half. So again, now that we have the derivative function, we can determine the derivative function value f prime of one half. f prime of one half is equal to five times one half, raised the power of five times one half, times the quantity one plus natural log one half. Let's go ahead and clean this up and write the exact derivative function value as f prime of one half equals five times one half, raised the power of five halves, times the quantity one plus natural log one half. And let's also get our decimal approximation for this derivative function value to four decimal places. Rounding to four decimal places, we have 0 0.2712. I hope you found this helpful.